Well, breaking news coming in on BRS leader K. Kavitha, whose judicial custody has been extended. Remember, she was arrested in the liquor policy case. So now uh, she will move from ED custody to judicial custody. She has been sent to 14 uh, day custody. So her custody has been extended. Earlier, she had asked and sought interim bail on the grounds of her son's exams. However, uh, the court for the moment has extended her judicial custody. Remember, she has been arrested in the liquor policy case as a part of the South Block that was involved in uh, getting liquor licenses uh, from Delhi and uh, K. Kavita has been uh, placed under arrest and she has been in, uh, interrogated by the Enforcement Directorate. Today, the ED telling the court they did not uh, need to interrogate her any further but recommended 14 uh, days judicial custody and now that custody has been extended. Let's just listen in to what she had to say. This is a, not a money laundering case, it is a political laundering case. One accused has already joined BJP. Second accused is getting a BJP ticket. Third accused has given 50 crores in electoral bonds. This is not a money laundering case, it is a political laundering case. It is a fabricated and false case. We will come up very clean. Jai Talangana! Jai Kajaka! Jai Talangana! All right, let's go across to NDTV Zishika now for more. Zishika, give us the latest. Now, Kavitha will be in judicial custody for another 14 days. Well, yes, Garge, you know, as you rightly said, big setback to K. Kavita. K. Kavita has now been sent to 14 day judicial custody. She has been, uh, you know, sent to judicial custody till 9th of April. Remember, Enforcement Directorate was seeking a 14 day judicial custody of K. Kavita today. Now, remember, you know, uh, in fact, you know, ED had mentioned in their application that uh, people like K. Kavita are very influential and thus they can influence the witness they can destroy uh, you know the evidence and influence the witness and thus also influence the ongoing investigation thus uh, you know the ED had said that thus you know 14 day judicial custody is needed for K Kavata now the Rouse Avenue court has sent K Kavata to a 14 day judicial custody now in fact you know in the court we also did see how in fact you know she had asked for an interim bail saying you know that her sons board exams are there but certainly that relief was not given to her but we also heard her response while she was going there she uh, clearly said that this is not a case of money laundering but it is a case of political laundering clearly alleging that this is just vendetta politics that is being done here now if we talk about you know the enforcement directorate they had earlier said you know that she's a very key player when it comes to the south group who allegedly paid 100 crore rupees kickbacks to Vijay Nayar to get you know to get uh, the license in this liquor policy case does uh, you know they had uh, you know asked for her custody in that matter but certainly big setback for K. Kavita, 14 day judicial custody is what K. Kavita has been sent to. Now certainly we'll, we will uh, you know, have to wait as to what will be the further investigation be, what more details can be there because remember Arvind Keshwal is already in the Enforcement Directorate's custody. Over to you. Right, uh, Ishika, thanks so much for joining us uh, with all those details. So, uh, Kavita's uh, custody has been extended. Let's go across to Uma Sudhir now for more. So, Uma's setback uh, for K. Kavita. She did make that statement to the media there and, uh, you know, and said that this is a political case. It's not a case of money laundering. Yes, indeed. I actually find it a little surprising because at this time, the ED has not sought uh, to extend the custody uh, so that they can question her or possibly be able to, uh, you know, put what uh, uh, what she says against what uh, Arvind Kejriwal says as what they call about confronting uh, both the witnesses together. And uh, uh, they have actually recommended that they would uh, prefer her to be sent to judicial custody for 14 days. Uh, uh, of course, Kavita would want uh, uh, bail and that's what she had uh, pleaded for in the lower court after the Supreme Court had directed her there. But the statement that she made, while it seems very dramatic, also has some factual truth in it. While uh, she's talking about uh, the three other accused in the case who have turned as approvers, 
who had uh, joined either the uh, BJP or the TDP uh, in the case of Andhra Pradesh, uh, where uh, Magunta Srinivasan Reddy, his son Magunta Raghavlu, uh, is an accused in the case, was an accused in the case and had turned approver. And he has, in fact, um, the father and son have both joined the uh, TDP there where the BJP is in an alliance. And she speaks about 50 crore rupees. Uh, being given by a third person who was accused in the case and turned approval. She was referring to Sarat Chandra Reddy, who is a director in Arbindo Pharma and the uh, firm uh, now with data that has become public uh, seem uh, to have given 5 crore uh, in uh, electoral bonds uh, just uh, five days after he was arrested uh, in 2022 and subsequently gave 50 crores uh, as electoral bond a couple of uh, months after he turned as an approver in this particular case. And it is on the basis of the statements of these approvers, including her former chartered accountant, Buchi Babu, that Kavita was in fact uh, uh, arrested by the enforcement directorate. That's right, Uma. And Uma, what is the impact of her arrest on the BRS, you know, coming as it is just ahead of the elections? BRS even otherwise has been uh, in the dock, should I say, because after the setback of the assembly election itself, uh, several of their party leaders uh, leaving the party, going either to the BJP or to the Congress, and uh, uh, the mood and the morale in the party certainly very low. And if they had hoped that some kind of a sympathy vote uh, this may translate into, that also does not appear to be uh, very obvious on the ground for the simple reason that the BRS has actually not done any public campaign. We did not see the former chief minister coming out and uh, talking about his daughter being victimized or otherwise. So no such political stance has been taken by the party and in fact none from the from the family itself is contesting the forthcoming uh, Lok Sabha elections and uh, they were in fact finding it difficult to find candidates even to uh, stand in the parliament elections. So in that sense, whether you know, if you think an arrest can convert into a sympathy like, the, uh, like in the case of Kejriwal, they are hoping the Aam Admi Party is pushing hard to uh, say that he is being victimized uh, or uh, to convert into, into political uh, capital, that is not uh, something that I see happening here in Telangana.